So you catch me on a mission today. Now I'm going to go off to Matochi Lake, just north of our hotel here in Scala Colonis, on the beautiful island of Lesvos. My objective is to take flight shots of the Herondines on the lake there. Now I went there a couple of days and there are literally hundreds of herondines at Matochi Lake. There are birds like barn swallows, uh, red rump swallows, sand martins, house martins and the bird I'm really after today, the common swift in flight. All the birds were catching flying insects and drinking from the lake uh, in flight. A fantastic scene. Unfortunately the weather was lousy, it was overcast, it was windy and not ideal conditions for flight photography. But today's different. It's sunny, the wind is going to die down a little bit later on, almost perfect conditions for flight photography. Now I'll be using the A1 with the Sony FE 600F4 prime lens. If there's any combination of equipment that can get this job done, it's certainly this one. Now, I normally shoot flight shots uh, using manual mode with auto ISO, and it won't be any different today. Normally, I use sh a shutter speed of around 1 2,500th of a second for my bird flight shots. But the target birds today are fast flyers and they'll be close. And when birds are flying close and they're fast, you're probably gonna need a, a faster shutter speed. So today I should think I'll be shooting around one 3,200 to one 4,000th of a second. So I'm still looking to get some fantastic shots and it's bright enough for those shutter speeds today. Now I always shoot my flight shots handheld and, and if you'd like some hints and tips uh, on settings and techniques to use for birds in flight photography, you'll find it in a, a video I made a while back and I'll provide a link up here to all my YouTube sub subscribers. So my target birds are the swifts at Matochi Lake and I guess the other herondines that will be flying around. I'll take some shots of those as well and I'll show you those at the end. The shot I really want is a swift swooping down along the water surface either taking a drink or taking an insect feeding. And a reflection shot of that as well would be the ultimate. I also think, and the best, the most interesting and compelling flight shots are one with a really interesting background. So I really don't like sky shots. What I do, I like a nice green background, a water background, a reed background. So I'll be certain to look to build those into my shots today. So I'll also be after some nice backgrounds too. Now focusing and locking onto a swift in flight can be extremely challenging. And I'm, I'm, all, I'm sure you've all found that in the past. But you know, practice makes perfect. I find that it's best to pick out one bird that looks like it's going to fly past than to get on it as soon as possible. I then try to follow that bird using the back button focus to, to lock on and engage with continuous autofocus and then panning to keep that bird in the middle of the frame and then shooting a continuous burst of 30 frames so I get the best possible wing position. If I'm really on my game, I might use the back button focus, just to bounce focus, so I get at least a few shots in a sequence, pin sharp. Now with this type of bird in scenario, I'll, I'll be happy if I get about 5% of my shots in focus. You know, like everybody else taking, uh, in the flight photography world, I get lots of duff shots, lots of blurred images, uh, and it really, the old adage, practice makes perfect, is really true. So I'm going off now and all that remains is to show you the results and I hope you really enjoy them and really just to thank you for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.